Hey everybody, Eric Mashinsky, uh, May 20th, the weekend. Hope you're having a good one. I'm recording this. It's a little unconventional, but this is for those of you that want some action, okay? Uh, the metals and mining sector has continued, even though it's definitely drastically improved um, after the uh, mid-October, late October 2022 timeframe, we've had a bit of a lift. And then again, though, especially in the lower end of market valuations with mining stocks, we've run into various frustrations in that space. I'm not worried about it. And part of the reason why I'm not worried about it is because I have another area that I focus my energies on that is popping off. And this is, for those of you that just want to hear about gold and just precious metals and just mining stocks, you can stop right here. This is different. I'm getting into crypto and I'm going to talk to you about an opportunity that I see that is um, bubbling up inside me. And usually when this happens, uh, I've got to share it. And I, I tend to make a lot of money when this feeling comes up and I'm, I'm going to share it in general and then give you a specific invitation on how I think uh, you can exploit and take advantage of what is coming, which is going to be really a, another tsunami of wealth creation in the crypto world. I came, for those of you that recall that have been around, um, I came out with my first Bitcoin recommendation at under $500 of Bitcoin in May of 2016 in this newsletter, okay? Um, in the past, as I in the markets, you know, I, I came from no money. I came from what you would consider when you look at the income of my family, it was poor. And, um, you know, I hate being broke. And I think part of that comes from the fact that, you know, I, as a, as a kid, would feel very embarrassed because all of a sudden our phone would get turned off. Uh, we were evicted from my childhood home when I was like, you know, an early teenager, lived in my grandmother's uh, yard in a tent for two months in a summer. Um, and, you know, it was just very uh, challenging with my family, with finances. And I had this appetite always to make money. And I think it came from that. So I'm so grateful how I came up and I've had my runs where I started to make some money. I became a stockbroker at the age of 20. I've been in this game now. I'm 48 years old for 28 years, which is crazy to say. And, um, you know, I'm what you would consider self-taught. I don't have a pedigree when it comes to, um, you know, educational institutions. I'm a college dropout. I didn't even graduate from high school on time. I did go to university for two years and studied business economics and psychology, but where I apply any of that stuff uh, here today in my life uh, was basically a very, you know, uh, hands-on learning experience. And, you know, one of the, one of the best uh, lines that I ever heard about the education when you pay for it from the stock market uh, it's very expensive because you get taken out to the woodshed plenty of times. It's not easy to make money in this game, but here's what I'm going to say today. And I'm, I'm bringing this to you in humility and, and humbleness because everything that I have and have been given in this life is a gift. I feel very blessed. I'm very lucky. Um, and I always am very lucky. I look at my life that way. There's been miracle after miracle. I should be dead after what I went through health-wise last year. So I'm not saying this to boast. I'm saying this because I think it's very important that if you're going to listen to somebody like me as a newsletter writer, and I'm taking up some of your time, and you actually invest in any of the uh, ideas that I bring forth, and you're betting on those with your hard-earned money and putting that money at risk, and we play in very high-risk reward arenas in the in the metals and mining area and the junior miners. Uh, but if you're going to do that, what I think you would want to see, and over the course of the timeline that the gold investment letter has been in business, which started in October of 2011, the top month uh, of the super cycle in metals and mining stocks and commodities, since that time, over 11, 12 years, almost 12 years, um, 11 and a half, basically. Wow. So 
there have been probably two thirds of that period of time, if not three quarters, have been us swimming in bear markets against the current. And luckily, um, here's what I do believe for myself that I'm good at that you can take advantage of. I know how to speculate. I know how to trade. I know how to invest. I know how to make money and I know how to pick investments and stocks. And now, you know, I'm just going to share a little bit about the opportunity that I see coming and that is here on the table today in crypto again, because if you go back in my YouTube, for example, and Twitter accounts, if you want to do your homework and do real diligence on whether what I'm about to say is credible or not, go look at the trajectory of my communication with regard to crypto and Bitcoin during uh, 2019 in the bear market. Uh, you can go before that and see that, you know, under $500 with Bitcoin, I ended up actually selling out early around 2,500 before it went to 20,000 in late 17. I tr made some trades and made some money later in the, you know, above 10,000 area, but it was like, it was play money. It, I didn't understand it enough to feel really confident um, to get, you know, deeply involved. However, my background is as a venture capitalist and I'm very, I've always been very active, mainly outside of the miners, investing in technology. And so essentially um, when crypto came around and we hit that, uh, that, crescendo of a bubble in late 2017, January 2018, where Bitcoin went to 20,000 and that bubble then popped. It reminded me of exactly when, you know, I made the first money in my career going into the internet bubble, into the uh, 99, 2000 timeframe, where we had this crazy, crazy technology bubble, uh, internet stocks. I made a lot of money on the way up and I lost it all on the way down. I did not understand market cycles. Um, I didn't understand, you know, adoption curves, uh, money flows, all kinds of different things that, you know, I had to learn the hard way. But when I started to get into my depth of diligence uh, about crypto and the various tentacles in which it's going to completely change society and is here to stay and uh, even the format, because with gold, you know, I was attracted to gold. And uh, the conversation around what is money is my wheelhouse. This has always been, you know, paramount in terms of uh, my interests in capital markets and finance. And Bitcoin, that's a different conversation that I'll get into another day. Uh, but let me just say this. Most people, the vast majority of people that I've talked to uh, from this newsletter um, have gotten the whole thing wrong, miffed the biggest wealth creation opportunity in the history of my lifetime. Um, some people participated and they did because I was very vocal and loud. Getting into the 2019 period was when we had the dearth of the bear market. And in 2000 and, uh, 2019, then 2020 in March, where we had COVID show up, I still distinctly remember the world falling apart and Bitcoin trading down below 4,000. Um, and that was, you know, you're talking about, I believe, Bitcoin, and this happens every four years, folks. It's very cyclical since it was launched in uh, 2008. Um, it was down about 87%, I believe, from its highs that were 20,000. It actually went to 3,200. I'm sorry, not just below 4,000, 3,200. And I've been very vocal. I was so vocal for a period of time. I even came out in 19 when Bitcoin was below 5,000. That's you know going before a crash. It was just in the, the end tail end of the bear market, and I know that some people did this, and I I love to hear about it. But this is also an update for you, I guess, because I haven't talked about Bitcoin too much here in the Gold Investment Letter. But I said if you have kids, young kids, or even teenagers, and um, you want to buy them one Bitcoin. Just put one Bitcoin on the books for your child and realize that if I'm wrong, you're going to lose the money. You'll lose your five grand. OK, if I'm correct, you're going to pay for their full education. And I'm not talking about a bachelor's at a community or a community college uh, associate degree. I'm talking about a full on doctorate at Harvard. 
that's where Bitcoin is going to go. And it is going to be a binary outcome, meaning it is either going to not going to work out or it's going to be basically worthless or it is going into the millions. And I still believe this is the case. And right now, um, I believe that Bitcoin is getting ready for uh, what will be another very, very epic and violent run sometime within, you know, call it the next 12 months, but I think it could start within the next 12 days. I'm going to talk about a subset of crypto that is the big opportunity that I see right now to get very wealthy, uh, possibly very quickly. Um, but if you look at, you know, when I put that challenge out there, there were people that took me up on it. And all I said also with that caveat was don't touch it. Don't try to out trade it. You know, people give up. Uh, we all we all have this nature of really wanting to move to this opportunity or that whatever's moving. I'm, many of us have made these mistakes uh, in you know speculation, trading and investing. But my whole thing with crypto is I made a lot of money. I made a fortune in 2021 when Bitcoin hit into the 60,000s and some of the altcoins that I had recommended and I put out a special report that saw the tail end of those recommendations. Now I have a full on crypto newsletter called phenomcrypto.com. It's a crypto phenom letter uh, that I made a very distinct decision late last year to make this a part of what I'm going to offer. I do it in a very non-marketing way. This is one of the few times I'm going to talk about this here and bring it to your attention because I think you'll get very wealthy, rich, or richer. Uh, if you were to join it now, take action properly on what I'm recommending, or at least uh, make a really good amount of money and, and returns that potentially could be bigger than you've ever seen. Um, I was able in my career to have enough, uh, and that's my dog sleeping in the background, sorry for the snoring, but I essentially uh, was able to make enough money in the mining sector despite very bearish environments from 2016 onward with some big hits. You know, we have had a lot of big hits at the gold investment letter from, you know, uh, things like um, First Vanadium, which is now Phenom Resources, that deal initially was a 14 cent stock that went to $2 in seven months. Encore Energy, uh, five, six cents, currently trading at three and change, at three for one split, but that was a 30, 40 X for us. Abra Plata saved that company at a nickel, a small amount of us in elite, financed them uh, four years ago, I believe it was. And that stock went to went up um, 15 X and we had you know warrants there that added that to make it a 25 X. Same thing with Encore, um, same thing with Phenom, which was like essentially like a 23x move um, in a seven month period if you ended up exercising the warrants and selling them all at the top, which I did not. But point is, we've had a number of those, and that was what staked me to be able to properly, methodically, and differently approach how I have been investing my monies and particularly how I nailed the crypto opportunity. I had eight tokens, okay? And this is all provable, it's all real, it's just, it's not bullshit, but this is what I think you wanna see if you listen to a letter writer like me. You wanna see someone who you know maybe does well, but uh, goes to an absolute, go, continues to go to new levels of their own personal success and wealth. And I'm not talking about from marketing the newsletter and getting rich off of selling books or selling, you know, my program or whatever, and being a good marketer and getting subscribers. I'm talking about from my investments. I have only gotten wealthy from being right on high risk reward investments. I had eight tokens that I took partial profits. I didn't sell it all, buy it all, and sell it all at the buy it at the low and sell it at the high. But I only count this if I took a part of a position and actually book these profits between 125 and 650 times my money. That was called bakery token, by the way, that I bought at 0 0.012 cents and sold um, uh, the last tranche that I, I still hold a ton of it for free. I didn't sell all of it, 
but I sold a, a big chunk at seven dollars and seventy seven cents. I believe was the the high print on that, so it was right at like six hundred and fifty times your money. Here's the thing about something like that: you don't need very to put in very much money to turn into a lot of money. Okay, when you're talking returns that are 200, 300, 400 x, this is where your whole game can change. I mean, I'm talking about something where say that was a ten thousand. It wasn't this much. But if it was a $10,000 investment and that 650X, that's 6.5 mil, okay? I'm talking about everything changes money, okay? That wasn't as much, but that's the thing. I mean, I had life-changing uh, results on all new levels without putting... I didn't have to put you know hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars into the crypto tokens that I did. Uh, I had, you know, three grand here, 10 grand there, 20 grand there in the sum, you know, that weren't as risky and, and as high risk, but some of them, it was like, you know, five grand or in the case of bakery token, I believe I invested 8,500 bucks. Um, and, you know, I did sell some on the way up before the 777. What was the average return? It was probably around 300 times my money. So that's, you know, not, not bad. But I'm seeing this again now, and I'm going to talk about that in a second, and then I'm going to give you um, an opportunity to play along. And it's not the key with all that stuff. So eight tokens with between 125 and 650X, I had dozens, dozens of altcoins that I made uh, between five and 125X on. So... It wasn't just those. I highlight those because those are extraordinary wins. And it wasn't just one or two. I had eight of them that I could only dream of this ever happening again. I'm actually not expecting it. And that's not what I'm pitching you today. I'm not pitching 650 times your money because I don't think I'll ever duplicate that again. If I do, thank the Lord, but I doubt it. <laughs> it was a one-time thing and that's fine. But what I do see in that time, what I did is I did a ton of homework. I recognized the urgency, the opportunity. I read the tea leaves, saw what was coming with the tsunami of capital. That Part of that because of my experience and the timing and the luck that I had about when I came into the business as a broker, a young hungry broker going into the 2000 bubble, then making the mistakes of losing all my money on the back ends. This time, how do, what do I do to keep it and make more? That's what's happened uh, for me. And this is all very nice. Also, let's just say, I don't know what's going to happen with the miners tomorrow, next month, over the summer. Is it going to be a rough global recession and they stay suppressed or they're just dead in the water and bombed out or go lower or whatever it is? Uh, it's possible. I don't, I don't care because um, I know that coming out of the other side, I'm going to be right. And in the interim, with capital that I make in the crypto sphere, if I get 10, 20, 50 X hits, I just take that some of that capital and I put it into the cheaper miners and vice versa. Okay. I was able to take some, uh, some money off of, you know, miners that had ripped, you know, McGuin that I bought in October that was at, you know, three and change and bought a bunch of call options and that stock went to ten dollars in you know just a few months, and then in early January, my track record with crypto. The reason why you should listen to me, I think, is because there's a lot of information out there, very consistently and consecutively, of me being right about where crypto was going before it moved, and I've just been able, thank God, and knock on wood, uh, to really nail it with crypto, and I don't plan. I'm not changing. In fact, again, I humbly say this, but there is a there is a sense that I have right now that I haven't had since we got into the 2020 2021 time frame where I had done all that homework and I identified what I thought were going to be the two big leading trends in the sectors within crypto to make the biggest returns and that was DeFi and NFTs. I learned about those things. I used those platforms. I put the time in. I did the work. And then I was able to isolate special situations and tokens 
based on my venture capital experience with looking at, you know, tokenomics, which are really, it's just like capital structures and things of that nature, very simple uh, applications, just doing the, putting the time in and finding these things that are out there for the taking. I've done that again. And um, I see two things that are going to propel the next sort of bubble cycle, if you will, in cryptocurrencies. And not all these are money or currencies or whatever, you know, there's blockchain. It's a very broad space that uh, there, some of the things that are coming out of this area, it's not going away. It's changing everything. We're never going back. It's, it, I don't give a fuck what the SEC says or Gary Gensler or Joe Biden or Elizabeth Warren or anything. They're going to come and go. And some of us are going to just get and continue to stay and get richer and richer and richer by reading through the smoke screens of all the shit the politicians are doing to slow it down, they're, they're getting steamrolled in reality and they will continue to. And if you believe all that nonsense you're seeing on the news, you're going to miss the biggest wealth creation event in history. And if you're also outside of the US, you have a big privilege. You're privileged, okay? Because you can buy a lot of these smaller tokens. And again, this area is a bit of a pain in the ass right now. So phenomcrypto.com, I'll put the link below, is where you're going to end up actually learning how to buy some of these tokens, where to go, how to do it. It's a bit of, a, it's a bit of work. It's a bit of time. But part of the reason that there's still so much upside left is because of how early it is. It's fragmented. It's, uh, it's a little tricky. And people do not want to deal with it, right? When they're dealing with it because it's all very seamless, I am going to be worth maybe a billion dollars, okay? And who knows, whatever, it'll be a lot. And uh, because this is why I say the timing is so key. But in this case, right now, actionable, possible huge returns that are coming. Two themes that I see being massive. AI, and I have got several AI tokens that are micro cap plays, in fact, I bought one of my favorite ones uh, today at 0 0.012 cents, just like I did with Bakery Token, that you will get if you join, you'll get that uh, idea, you'll get another idea um, in AI right away, my top picks in this space. And then what's happened recently is I've come out with three recommendations that are, uh, one of them is, is and I'm not going to get into any details here, but these are the ordinals, the BRC20 tokens on the Bitcoin network. The one component is the memes, the, the meme tokens, but there are so many very unbelievable elements that are going to drive additional Bitcoin adoption and use cases from this new area. We, Some of you who have been in crypto know about ERC20s, which is where you can build with smart contracts on top of the Ethereum network, which is the second largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization. Now Bitcoin has this new arena that there is just explosive uh, development on right now. And we had an initial pump with some of these tokens. They just came down over the course of the last week or two. I am loading the hell up on some of these plays, and I have isolated three of them uh, in varying degrees of risk, but all pretty high risk, high reward. And out of the three, uh, so if I'm wrong, we'll, we're gonna lose 70% of our money or something, and this thing will die out, and it, it's just not what I think it could be, or even a quarter of what I think it could be. But what I think is gonna happen and I've been right on this multiple times before in this space, and I'm gonna nail it again on this one, I'm just telling you, uh, is the next batch of where I have, where I book uh, a handful of 50, 100 plus X returns. And this shit is gonna go down so fast. If you don't jump on this right now, sign up at Phenom Crypto, let me send you over the course of the next you know, week, uh, all the updated token picks, doing a Q&A, 
that walks through how you can end up making sure that you're getting these, these tokens on the books, that you're able to know how to even do basic things like send your funds to what exchange, uh, is it safe? I mean, look, I'm not, mess I'm not playing here. I have well into the six figures bet, well into the six figures bet on these three tokens in what you would call the ordinals. Uh, sector within the Bitcoin ecosystem, which is a subset. There's another uh, subset within crypto that I think could also be a massive driver of wealth going forward, and that's called DSI, decentralized science. Now, decentralized finance, DeFi, and NFTs are here to stay, and they are have plenty of opportunities to make a lot of money based on their explosive growth as well. But those were the leaders in the last bull cycle. I believe I have got the leading sectors identified again in the next bull cycle, which is pretty much here. I mean, we've seen Bitcoin back off a little bit from, you know, 30,000 back down to 27. And people are, you know, freaking out and worried again. And, you know, there was so much bad press last year with FTX and all the scams and the bullshit and, and everything fraud. Um, and what was I doing at 16,000 in the first week of January? Go look on my YouTube. I put out a video about another massive opportunity that the lows were in. And then boom, like that, we doubled our money off of those price points in like 60 days or less. And Bitcoin is still up 80% uh, from that video. Ethereum, some of the, um, the AI plays that were booming. I also have a, what I think is going to be a huge decentralized science pick that I've identified that is very unique. It's trading at like a buck 65, buck 70 for token right now. I think that could go to, you know, 25 to 100. Uh, some of these penny plays that we've got identified in AI and in the ordinals. Um, I'm talking about going from a penny or 10 cents to um, you know, a dollar or or thirty dollars, you know, like that's the type of upside we're looking at. So, I'm just giving you some color on this right now um, today on a weekend spontaneously because I'm like vehemently moving money over and boosting my positions in these ordinal plays. And today, I actually uh, have moved more money into the AI names. I think they're starting to get a bit again. They've come way off, but you know, some of these plays, you know, this is not, uh, these are not, this is worth your time. We had like, you know, I think it was a singularity net, which in the first two and a half months of the year was up like 1200%. Um, you know, Bitcoin, even this year so far is up 70 plus percent. You know, these are, these are asset classes that I don't think you want to negate because what my prediction is of you are going to own and use crypto in the future. It's just a question of where do you get it? When do you get it? For what purpose? What brings you into it? Do you even know if you're using it? All of our banks are using blockchain. They're talking shit about Bitcoin because this thing could be a threat to the actual system and the banks and the, the monetary, the central banking and fractional reserve banking system. They're starting to get that. That's why you're seeing all this bullshit and uh, fear, uh, uncertainty and doubt. They call it FUD for a reason. That is all in our face to get people like you to ignore this and say people like me are crazy. While what's happening in the background is we are getting rich. And we're at a point, we're only at 1.2 trillion on the market cap in crypto right now, which have gone as high as three on this next run, it will go to probably five to 10 trillion. And we have more money than the US government and all the governments, which are basically bankrupt, but we have funds to fight any of these cases in, in court. Battles are going on as we speak against the SEC. These politicians are gonna get tossed. We have more power than them. And all of this ties into us as gold investors to protect your money, to get on offense, I'm telling you, this is an area that you, if you're going to, you think you're intrigued and you want to learn about it, you want to get some exposure, do it now. You know, don't wait. It's, it's just going to come back at you. And it's going to be when everybody's talking about it at dinner parties, 
because Bitcoin's all of a sudden at 100,000, you might as well participate in that uh, on the way up and counter, show people about how to do things. Be the teacher instead of the learner when the wealth is already being created. And I'm very confident that we're about to make a lot of money again at phenomcrypto.com. You can join the free letter there if you want. I do give information about the sector there, but get serious. I don't even charge hardly anything. It's the same as the gold investment letter premium newsletter. It's like $777 for six months. You know, if you're playing with a couple of grand and I'm right, you're going to pay for 10 years of that service in the next six months. So just step it up. If you're playing with real money, you have to get it. And frankly, there's not an elite service there. It's just premium. And what's going to happen there is when the market gets expensive again, I will end up probably taking that price point and it's going to go up by three to five times, or I'm just not going to take on any premium members anymore. So that's just how I roll. I'm sorry. I'll do what I want. And, uh, you know, I don't really care. I don't need it. I don't need the subscribers. I'm not going to try to exploit people when everything's hot. And I'm not as sure about where I think I can make money. Right now, I'm feeling gut level conviction that if you want to get involved and take some of my recommendations and advice uh, in the crypto world, I don't know if it'll change your life, but it might. And at a minimum, my MO with this stuff, guys, you know, you can do what you want if you want to buy Lamborghinis and shit with that money. But the more we make, the more we can give away. And I hope that some of you take me up on that particular point. Get out of your way, do the work, get into, I'll condense 90% of it for you. Get some capital into crypto, make a couple extra million bucks or whatever so that you can go do good. Cheers.